Am I the asshole for expecting my BF to pick me up from work during a snowstorm? Yesterday afternoon evening we got hit with a wicked storm. Near zero visibility, plows couldn't get roads cleared fast enough, 20 minute commutes were taking over an hour. I have a license but no car, my BF has both. We live together. He doesn't work rich dad, just sleeps until 3-4 pm and plays video games all night after I go to bed. My work is a 20-25 minute drive, mostly highway. We have an agreement that he picks me up from work on Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. I take the bus every morning and I bus home on Tuesdays and Thursdays. When I bus home he has dinner ready for me just something frozen cooked in the oven. It's three different bus lines, takes about 90 minutes. Uber cab is between $40 and $60. I'm not allowed my phone while I'm at work. So I get off at 5.30 to a bunch of texts from him about how Maps is estimating 51 minutes for him to get to me and how awful it is out there so he isn't going to come. I was annoyed, but semi-understanding. He seemed apologetic and kept saying I hope you don't hate me. I stood in blizzard conditions from 5.45 until 6.20 waiting for my first bus scheduled to be there at 5.58. My legs were numb and covered in ice pellets which then melted on the heated bus and made me soaking wet. With each connection I grew more and more irritated until I was nothing short of livid. For my last connection I was in the cold from 7.20 to 8.00. I didn't get home until 8.30. I ran myself a bubble bath, ate leftover past a while in the bath and then went to bed. It took everything in me to not lose my shit on him for leaving me to commute in a storm. Even this morning as I left for work and he was snuggled up in bed I had to bite my tongue. Am I the arsehole? The real R here is your employer, who kept you on site and unable to use your phones, when there was a dangerous storm. If the visibility really was that bad, then you're asking your BF to risk his life driving to pick you up. It's dangerous. It's not fair to him. You should have left your job early to get home safely. Having a rich dad or him playing video games is irrelevant to the story. Find a job where your employer treats you with respect and one that's much closer to where you live. I think this is a case of nah. Not sure what your workplace is like but when weather that severe begins, oftentimes places make concessions for people to leave early. If the visibility was that bad, honestly it was probably safer and better for you to be on transit rather than in a passenger vehicle. It sounds like you two need to have a better discussion about what to do in weather incidents like this one, especially when you're reliant on him for rides. Info is his vehicle equipped for snow, and is he a seasoned driver in the snow? I'm confused. If it was near zero visibility then how was he supposed to drive? Info what does this person do for you in your life? Sleeps all day, only bothers to cook frozen dinners twice a week. Doesn't even look for a solution for you to come home safely? Why are you with him? I feel like this is a slight you're the asshole. The way you described this. Near zero visibility, plows couldn't get roads cleared fast enough. I would not drive in this, period. It's pretty shitty that with a storm going on at work, you aren't able to use your phone. But the way you are describing it it doesn't sound safe for him to be driving at all. Not the asshole. I'd be grumpy too. Info why are you with a man you don't respect? Soft you're the asshole. It sucks that you had to take the bus, but demanding that someone to come get you in dangerous driving conditions is not okay. Getting big mad about it it, and staying mad, is a little ridiculous. How would you feel if your BF had gone off the road into a ditch, and you still would have had to take the bus, only he could be in the hospital or worse? If you're irritated that your BF is generally useless and lazy, that's a whole other discussion. Info so you have a license and he has a car but does nothing all day except play video games. Why can't you drive his car to and from work? Not the asshole, the drive was 51 minutes, not, the drive was impossible. I'd never leave my wife stranded because the drive was too long. 
If he didn't think his vehicle could make it I'd be a bit more understanding, but it sounds like he didn't want the hassle. I've driven in some shit conditions and almost all of them are mitigated by driving slow and careful. Okay. I live in a snowy area. I drive Uber. Back when I had an AWD vehicle, I Ubered a lot in the snow. I've lived in New England for most of my 58 years on earth. And I call BS on the BF. A 25 minute commute turned to 51. That is not zero visibility, whiteout, blizzard conditions. That's nothing. When 25 minutes turns into 2, 3 hours and I've been out in that then the BF has a gripe. 25 to 51? That's friggin flurries. Not the asshole. Info. Was getting a hotel room close to work not an option? If your man is living off daddy's money, I think he could have paid for the room over the phone. You both stay safe and off the roads, you're not out in awful conditions, and getting to work the next day should be easier. Yeah, you'll have to wear the clothes you wore the previous day, but it sounds like that might be a better option than risking life and limb. Not the asshole. He should want to do it, to make sure you are safe. It sounds like your BF is a spoiled layabout. It may be time for an upgrade. Not the asshole at all, and please for the love of God GTFO of there and be with someone worth your time. He doesn't work and wouldn't pick you up. I've known people be nicer to their dogs. Not the asshole. He had plenty of time to get to you in the heated car and chose not to bother, knowing what it would mean for you. He didn't even send an Uber for you. You need to start driving yourself around. He can't be counted on when it is inconvenient for him, even though he has no other responsibilities. He left you in a very dangerous position. Also, maybe look into a different job. I would be mad too more about the fact that he's home sleeping all day while you are working, but he could have met you halfway. You say you take three buses. Couldn't he have picked you up after bus one or two? It better yet, planned ahead to pick you up at work after all he's just playing a game. Not the asshole. Slight not the asshole, only because it didn't seem like he was concerned about the conditions, just the fact that it would take him longer than usual to do the pickup. You two need to discuss the best course of action in case this happens again. Not the asshole if my fiancé was stuck at work in a blizzard I sure as hell would drive slowly and carefully to pick her up especially if I had nothing else to do all day. Not the asshole. OP didn't do anything wrong and understandably upset at the situation. However, it read as it's not about the snowstorm or lack of pickup, but the lack of empathy and effort from BF. If there was an hot meal, a hot bath and a hot breakfast in the morning any extra effort from BF would have been welcome and seen as heartfelt. Edit Grammar.